this is the Flipper Zero, and there's a massive community building incredible things for it. But what if you find an amazing application on GitHub and there's no easy .fap file for you to download? You see these awesome custom tools, but when you get to the page, all you find is a bunch of folders and source code. It can feel like the best apps are just out of reach, reserved only for developers. Well, I'm Jay Blanked, and today I'm going to show you how to take that source code and build the app yourself right on your own computer. This is the key to unlocking a huge library of community-made applications that haven't been released or updated on the official app store. You'll never have to feel stuck with just pre-packaged files again. And it's easier than you think, so let's get started. So why do you have to build these apps from source in the first place? Well, there are two main reasons. First, sometimes the developer simply hasn't provided a downloadable .fap file, but more often it's because the version you found is incompatible with your Flipper's current firmware. This is called an API mismatch. Think of it like this. Flipper apps are built to talk to a specific version of the firmware. When that firmware gets an update, whether it's an official release or a new build from a custom firmware developer, the underlying language or API can change. And if an app was built for an older language, there may be compatibility errors, so the app will refuse to run. And sure, you could wait for the app developers to recompile and release a new version, or you can take control and do it yourself in about five minutes. By building from the original source code, you compile it against the latest firmware available. Okay, before we start, let's gather what you'll need. First, you'll need Python installed on your computer. If you don't already have it, searching online for install Python will get you set up quickly. Second, we'll be using an awesome command line tool called UFBT, which stands for Micro Flipper Build Tool. It's pretty much a lightweight all-in-one toolkit made specifically for building Flipper apps. We'll also use a Python virtual environment to keep our project dependencies neat and tidy. All right, time to get our hands dirty. First, find an application on GitHub that you want to install. For this tutorial, we'll use an old project of mine called Flip Trader, which hasn't been updated in months. On the app's main page, click the green code button and select download zip, and then unzip the archive. Now we want to copy or move the folder to a place where you keep your Flipper apps. Next, open up your terminal or command prompt and navigate into your Flipper apps folder. For me, it's Flipper Tutorials. I type in CD, drag over where it's located and click enter. Now we're going to create a clean workspace for our project by making a virtual environment. Type Python dash M Vim Vim and press enter. Since I'm on Mac, I need to type in Python 3 dash env vim vim and then click enter. Now we need to activate it. On Windows, you would type dot backslash vim slash scripts slash activate. But if you're on Mac or Linux, it's source vim slash bin slash activate and then click enter. Okay, now that your virtual environment is active, we can install the build tool. Type this command, pip install dash dash upgrade ufbt. This tells Python's package manager to install the tool for this project. Now we'll type in clear and hit enter. From here, we need to navigate into the specific app. Type in ls to see the list of files 
and then we will type in CD and then the folder of the app you just downloaded. CD flip trader dash main and click enter. And from here, we need to navigate into the directory that contains the application.fam file. Luckily for this app, we are already in the right directory. As you see, the application.fam file is in our current directory. Now type in clear. And here comes the magic. Make sure your Flipper Zero is plugged into your computer with a USB-C cable that supports data. It's also very important to ensure the Q Flipper application is completely closed as it can interfere with this process. Now in your terminal, run this one simple command, UFBT launch, and then click enter. And that's it. UFBT automatically compiles the application and then pushes the finished.fap file directly onto your flipper and launches it for you. And if you just want to build the app without running it immediately, you just simply run UFBT. You'll see your flipper screen flicker for a moment and then boom, the app you just built is now running on your device. You've turned raw source code into a working application. It's installed and ready to go. And you can find it later in your applications menu under the appropriate category. Because you compiled it yourself, the app is now updated to the latest API. You can now do this for any app you find on GitHub. And that's really all there is to it. You've just gone from simply downloading apps to building them yourself, perfectly tailored for your device. Now, if this video helped you out, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for more Flipper Zero content. I'm always digging into Flipper Zero content and you don't want to miss what's coming up next. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.